Hey good folks, my name is Ran Ben Avraham and I've got a quick tip for you today to speed up your real flow simulation time. Over here I've got a very simple real flow scene. I've got a ball here on the top. I've got four rails that will help the ball slide down. And down at the bottom here I've got a swing on an axis and a rocket on one end. Now my goal here is to slide the ball down the rails until it reaches the swing and then it should bounce the rocket on what will probably be a failed launch. Now I have modeled these objects in Maya and I've been smart about it and my Maya world scale was centimeters. Each one of those rails is 10 centimeters long and approximately 2 centimeters wide. And the ball, for example, is one and a half centimeters in diameter. Now in Maya, each one of the grid squares is equal to one centimeter on one centimeter. Let's put it to the test. Let's get a nicer view here and let's see. By the way, all these objects were created in Maya except for the rocket here, which is one of the default objects inside Wheelflow. Now I have got a few hidden objects in the scene. I've got uh, five walls and the reason they're hidden is because they're hiding everything. If we we'll switch to the wireframe view, we can see those walls are just there to prevent the ball from falling over from the sides or the edges of the rails. So we'll hide those again, switch back to shaded view and let's run a quick simulation see how this simulation goes. Okay, we can stop the simulation there. So, as you can see, that wasn't bad. That was about uh, 540 frames, and that took about uh, 2 minutes of simulation. But then again, we have to remember that this is a very simple scene. This is just a gravity-based scene. No fluids are involved, and we have very, very simple meshes here, with a very low amount of polygons. However, it seems that the simulation is running a bit slow and the reason for that is that each one of those grid squares is equal to one meter on one meter. And that is actually very important because RealFlow is physically accurate. So if we reset the simulation or maybe just go back to the start here and let's zoom in here. Actually, let's switch to the front view and let's see. Where is the ball? Well, maybe we can try this from the side view. Okay, this is better. So, the ball falls 1, 2, 3, 4, almost 5 grid squares. And instead of falling down 5 centimeters, it's actually falling down 5 meters. And then it's got, well, 20 meters to slide down each rail. So it's got a very long distance to go and that's the reason it's taken so long. So my quick tip for you is to change the scene scale. And by changing the scene scale from meters to centimeters, we will speed up the simulation time tremendously and when we'll import our simulated scene back into Maya or your 3D software of choice, the scene scale will actually remain the same. So let's switch back to the perspective view. Let's measure the rail for comparison. So we'll mark the rail and I'll go to tools tab and I'll select the measure tool. 
Here we can see that the overall surface of the rail is 143 meters. Let's hit OK. Let's go to the scene scale and we'll change the geometry scale from 1 to 0.1. And as you can see that uh, scaled down are seen tremendously. And let's zoom in here. Actually, let's do this this way. I'll right click and uh, zoom all. Now, reset the simulation. For comparison, we'll measure the same rail again. We'll go to the measure tool and now it's 1.43. So that's a really big change. We'll hit OK and let's try another simulation. Okay, let's pause the simulation there. So, same result, only this time it took us just a fraction of the time. The reason for that is that the ball had a smaller distance to travel. So that's my quick tip for you on speeding up your real flow simulation time. If you would like to learn more about real flow dynamics, soft and rigid bodies simulations, be sure to check out my new course over at lynda.com on soft body simulations for motion graphics with Wheelflow. Once again, my name is Ram Ben Avraham and I'll see you next time.